Okay, so a long time ago, I did a video about Pretty Little Liars. And just like with my original Riverdale video, I saw some people saying that I should really give it more of a chance. You can't get a full picture from just one episode. And besides, everyone knows that the first episode is always like the most awkward anyway. Y sure, I'll give you that. That's fair. So, in an effort to be fair to the show, that so many of you seem to love for some reason, I figured it was time for a part two. So let's go. When we left off last time, Arya was having a will they, won't they kind of thing with her English teacher, Mr. Fitz. First they called it off, then it was back on, then it was off again. It was like a big game of musical chairs except with like a hundred times more eye rolling. With this in mind, Arya confronts Mr. Fitz once again about what they should do. This isn't an easy decision, but I feel like it's the right thing to do. I can keep my feelings in check. I can't. And even if I could, I don't want to. It's too hard to sit in this room every day and call you Mr. Fitz. Well, hey, back in college, everyone called me up, Chuck, but that's probably not helping the situation right now, is it? While this is going on, we get our first look at Emily's boyfriend. Hey. <sighs> What's wrong? You surprised me. <laughs> we still up for the movie? My mom invited Maya to stay with us tonight. Oh, kind of jammies you think new girl wears. Uh, quick tip for you girls out there. If your boyfriend ever asks, yeah, what kind of pajamas do you think your friend wears? <laughs> You should probably date someone else. Now the police are investigating Allison's alleged murder and naturally our four main characters are prime suspects. So they all get called into the office and the head investigator dude hits them with the tough questions about the night Allison disappeared. So what's up? Was this a summer party or? Is this an interrogation? No, just a routine follow up. Why did you guys all fall asleep? I guess we were tired. Tired? Really? Seriously, you expect me to believe that all of you went to sleep at the same time at night? Pfft, why, you think I was born yesterday? Later that day, Arya and her mom go out to see a movie at the local movie theater, and wouldn't you know, they run into Mr. Fitz. Arya. Hey, Mr. Fitz. Hi, uh, this is my mom, Ella. Oh, Mr. Fitz, the new English teacher. Yes, it's a, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Montgomery. Oh, please, call me Ella. We're a very informal family. You know, few things are more awkward than seeing a teacher outside of school. I mean, everyone knows high school teachers only exist inside school. And once the bell rings, they climb into their coffins full of like empty coffee mugs and like thousands of protractors or whatever. And they spend all night doing nothing else but thinking of more completely pointless rules that they can enforce because really what else do you have to live for at that point? No, but really teachers have it pretty tough guys. It gets harder every day for them. So just be nice to your teachers kids, okay? She's told us a lot about you. Although you forgot to mention the you're a very young part. Oh, well, I, I just... We should get going. The movie's right. starting. We'll see you inside. And you forgot to mention the really cute part. That's because no one wants to talk about cute teachers with their mom. Like, ever. Flashing sideways, we see Spencer in her room pretending to do homework when we all know that she's actually just making fake accounts online to troll her friend's Instagram posts. I see you, Spencer. I'm onto you. When British man comes to say hello, or hello, or however he talks. You know, I didn't grow up in a family like yours, so I don't know that kind of pressure. But I could imagine it could be unbearable at times. I'm sorry, I'm being intrusive. No, no, you're being nice. Yeah, well, we all know how it goes for nice guys now, don't we? Unless, of course, you're from the UK, and then everything you say just makes girls go Bleh. Gary said that the hat-trick chair was inspired by an apple tree. Well, if that isn't just the worst pickup line I ever heard. Surprise, surprise, Spencer and Ren start getting steamy. And Spencer's sister finds out. The next day, Spencer realizes her mistake and immediately regrets her decision to make out with a guy who has his own tennis racket. I mean, come on, Spence, really? At some point in time that has absolutely nothing to do with anything that's going on right now, Arya is getting coffee somewhere and it's raining. Mr. Fitz sees her and looks like he's going to drive away, but then stops and he's like, I'm oh, just kidding, and this is apparently a romantic thing to do. You know, the old will I or will I not be a total jerk today routine, which apparently gets him every time, according to TV at least. Anyway, then he takes her home. Now, one story thread running through this show is that Arya saw her dad making out with someone that wasn't her mom in the backseat of his car. And since then, Arya has been torn between the decision to tell her mom what she saw or just keep it a secret. When Arya gets home from the coffee shop that she somehow got to without a car and without looking at the weather, yeah, I, I don't really get it either. She confronts her dad about what she saw. You're not very good at hiding your feelings. And your mother knows that something is up. 
Look, Arya, I don't like to lie, but sometimes telling the truth does more harm than good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only people who say that are people who really don't want the truth getting out, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when those alternative health people try to tell you that everything else except their product has toxins, and you ask them what specific toxins and they have no idea. Everything else will kill you except this one specific tummy tea that only I have. You know, call me crazy, but I just think you're trying to sell me something here. Were you in love with her? I had very strong feelings for Meredith and my attraction to her took me completely by surprise. I had no intention of being unfaithful to your mother. And you're too young to understand this, but the truth is I gave in to my emotions. Too young to understand? <laughs> what? Teenagers do nothing but give in to their emotions. What are you talking about? For your information, sir, I happen to have the gold medal in crying for absolutely no reason. Okay, don't give me that. But then the conversation is cut short when her mom and brother come home with dinner. We got you Kung Pao. You're, you're not going out tonight? No. You know, back when I was in high school, my parents used to ask me this question too, but it was more along the lines of, are you ever going out anywhere, ever, please? Shut up, mom. Kingdom Hearts 2 wasn't gonna finish itself, you know? And then she gets a message from Allison's ghost or like, whatever. But you see, for me, the real question is, what is this cell phone UI? Who made it and how did they ever get a job? I mean, come on, look at this. What the heck? What is this, PowerPoint clip art? But watching further into this show, I've realized one very important element. Every guy in this show, like every male character, is like a total sleazeball. Arya's dad is a cheater. Emily's boyfriend is just plain creepy. The police detective is manipulative and weird. And Mr. Fitz is an adult man dating a 16 year old. Every girl in this show is like strong and smart and elegant, but maybe just a little flawed. And every guy is just like, <laughs> but I'll probably keep going, you know, just to see how it pans out. I mean, really, how much worse could it possibly get? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. So doing these videos, I've watched a lot of teen dramas, okay? I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot. Pretty Little Liars is very unique in just how utterly bizarre it is. I guess that's the best way to put it. I mean, other shows, they're set in the future or they're set with vampires or they're set with something that's, of course, supernatural or unrealistic or whatever. And so you kind of have to accept that defying of logic or whatever. But Pretty Little Liars is just bizarre. The way people talk, the way things unfold, the way adults act, and th it's just like... Like, what parallel universe is this where any of this would happen this way at all? But I guess that's part of the point, right? Anyway, guys, so as of recording this right now, I just hit 200,000 subscribers. I don't know how that happened, but thanks a lot. I'm glad you're all enjoying the videos. I enjoy making them. I'm having a good time, you know, trying to get better at animation, trying to go a little bit, you know, every video I try and do something a little more, a little better, a little faster, a little whatever. Um, I finally got a real tablet. You know, I'm no longer using the little tiny uh, Intuos draw thing. I have like a real tablet now. So hopefully I'll be able to churn out some better looking stuff. Anyway, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Tweet at me. I try to reply to everything I get. Follow my dog, Charlie, on Instagram. Check out my merch. I got new stuff coming all the time. So there might be something you like. If there's not, you know, check back again in a week. There might be something new there. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.